I have a Kenmore Series 700 top load washer. I received an error code E2 at 6. I unplugged it to reboot, waited 5 minutes and plugged back in. Now my washer won't even power back on. What happened just before your Kenmore washer displayed this message? It was in the middle of a washing cycle when it stopped and flashed the code. How long has this been going on with your Kenmore washer? What have you tried so far? I've seen that code maybe a year ago, unplugged it and that fixed my problem. Doesn't appear to be fixing the issue now. Anything else we should know to help you best? Not that I can think of. Hello and welcome to Just Answer. This is Mark, I'm an appliance repair technician with 20 years of experience, and I'll be assisting you today. You will see phone call pop-ups. Know that I do not send those, the site does that, and if you do not want a $24 call, you can ignore those. Sorry to hear your washer has the E2F6 error, that is frustrating indeed. Please allow me a few moments to look up that error code and return. In the meantime, please provide me with the full model number of this washer, found on edge of opening to washer with lit up. Mod 29,132,410 This error indicates that there is an issue with the control board or wiring harness. Try this, unplug the washer from outlet for 5 minutes, then plug back in and see if that resolves the error. I've done that 3x in the last 40 minutes. It won't power back on. I just plugged it back in again after being unplugged for 15 minutes. No power. Okay. So, no lights on display at all, correct? Correct. Okay. So, since you had that error earlier, it indicates there is a communication error between the main board. Part 6 on the diagram at link following this, since you also now have no power to display, that means the communication totally failed between the console panel and main board. One of those two parts, the board or console has failed and needs to be replaced https colon slash www.easyappliancebarts.com slash model sections dot asks. Model ID equals 7029836 and model num equals 11029132410 and MFG model num equals and manufacturer ID equals 3 and selected equals 54 by 8742C947 to 7 ABIC 208C1 kick 61C9B6CBDC and position equals 3 and manufacturing equals Whirlpool and type equals washer and mark equals 1. Basically I need a brand new washer. The console part, part 1 on that diagram, is separate from the main board, part 6 on diagram. So the way it works is the main board provides voltage to the console by way of wires. You will need to test voltage to main board first to see if it is getting voltage. If it is, then you want to test voltage to console. If no voltage being sent to console from board, you have a faulty board. If you choose to not repair this washer, then you would want a new one yes. One moment and I can give you an average quote for this repair. Then you can decide how to proceed. When I plug my washer in the cord it always sparks for a second. Does that indicate voltage? If this is a faulty board, board price is about $430. If this is a faulty console, price is about $350. Then you add about $100 to $120 for labor on top of that. That indicates that there is only voltage to the outlet. 
Miracle of all miracles it just powered on. So you are looking at a minimum of $450 to repair. Great news. I would access the board and see if there is a loose wire if this happens again. Now the estimated time remaining doesn't display how long the wash cycle is. This sounds more like a faulty main control board. Cost is average of $550 total to replace that. It's see my cycle spinning but the pause start button doesn't light up on touch. They charge a lot for the control board. Here is a link to part https colon slash www.easyappliancebarts.com slash part info dot asks. Inventory equals 11723063 and source code equals 1 and search term equals 11029132410 and model num equals 11029132410 and model ID equals 7029836. Faulty board. Holy heck that's a lot. For that price it forces you to buy a new one. Considering I paid like $750 for THJS. Yes, you will get nothing but agreement from me on the price of control boards. It's ridiculous. Well this machine is currently stated up and going. Fingers crossed. I think I may have been told previously not to use the heavy-duty cycle for every wash that it burns out the motor. Is that true? It's one of those things that has gotten worse in the appliance field. Appliances that cost more, and they also design them now so that everything is controlled by at least two computer boards. Then, those boards are prone to errors and failures, then when one fails, you have to buy the whole board as opposed to just one part with old models. I am quite certain this is by design, so that people will buy a new washer. At any rate, it seems like your washer is working now. I diagnose this as a loose connection. So if you have more issues with that, then you want to access the boards, and with washer unplugged, Disconnect the wires from the board and then reconnect them to see if one was loose. If that does not resolve the issue, if it happens again, then you have a faulty control board. Thank you. Then if board needs to be replaced, you are looking at around $550 to repair. I have my fingers crossed for you that it does not happen again. Have a great day, be safe and thank you for using Just Answer. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.